painting and cutting of cube now we'll come to the interesting area or you can say really case slate will be formed based on this concept generally first painting will be done then cutting will be done why if you will cut it then you will paint then what will happen all the six faces you will paint it like you have cut it you chopped it like you are cutting the paneer you are making a small small cube afterwards after cutting if you are just uh, frying it what will happen all paneer will become similar type all paneer will become similar type just suppose you do reverse process one big cube of paneer you just make it fry and afterwards you cut it then what will happen all the faces will not look gray or brownish few faces will look white exact paneer's color few faces will look brownish few faces maybe it is a very deep fry it will looks like blackish or gray then to distinguish in better way what your questions will be framed first they will paint it then they will cut it then we have multiple type of cubes which are having only one face painted which are having two face painted which are having three face painted and many of the cubes will be there they are not getting opportunity to get the painted which are inner more then uh, most of the time question you will get you will get the question related to painting and uh, making the cube in the case of reverse process formation like many of the cubes are there you have a small 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 multiple cubes are there you have taken 27 number of cubes you formed one big cube all are painted like red 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 then what will happen you made one big cube this cube you painted green now interesting pattern will come you made 27 small small red cube you have taken all side painted and you made one big cube 3 by 3 then it will become 3 by 3 by 3 it will become 27 cubes now afterwards you painted green outside inner sir inner faces all are red external faces has become green now we'll do experiment one more time this green colored cube will take again 27 number and will assemble it and will paint it by yellow now question will become very interesting how many cubes are painted only red how many cubes are painted by red green and blue and how many cubes how many uh, cubes are painted by any two color this is formation of cube and generally we are looking for the this is the deformation painting and cutting of the tube cube it can be mainly divides in three cases i will discuss all three cases no need to worry first we'll uh, just uh, take few ldi learn through images cube with uh, like just you look this which cube is lying on the edge what will happen two side will be painted cube with two side painted which are at the corner cube with three side painted which cube lying exactly on the face only one side will be painted and which are lying internal you can say inner part of cube they will not paint it at all like here surface area we can just make it six equal square shape s square s square s square total already i discussed this is called face this is called vertex this is called edge sometimes corner will tell it is a vertex like just suppose if we are uh, painting by six different color like rubik cubes then how it will looks once you are opening the cube or once you are opening the rubik cube this six square faces are six different color white green blue red yellow and this orange now we'll come to the case one what is case one painted by one color we are just very conservative way we have taken only one color why to understand the scenario afterwards we will go for the two color we'll go for three color and in the case of puzzle we'll go by six color and one of the scenario i told formation of the, by different different color we'll just make a arithmetic progress geometric progression here not arithmetic progression we'll go to geometric progression in the case of geometry, it will small cube bigger cube bigger cube bigger cube different different color it will be much puzzle situation for imagination purpose brain will not able to digest that much layer of formation but we have to do i will tell you how to do it painted by one color cut in symmetric way if a cube painted by red color and cut into n to the power cube number of similar cube just suppose one cube is there it is painted red first completely and afterwards it is cut into n cube number of smaller cube what we are doing n minus 1 cut we are doing along x 
y z all three axes then we are getting n cube n to the power 3 cube now just we'll take the help of this standard cube just looking wise no face painted what will happen just suppose this is your edge this is your edge this is your edge this is your edge this is your corner this is your corner this is your corner this is your corner what is left out here this is your center how will find it if just suppose no need to worry just to whenever you are getting confusion just 3d figure you convert into a 3d 2d figure we will get the idea this is your corner 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 this is your edge 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 what is your innermost original figure was 3 square 9 i am telling 2 i am telling uh, 2d figure this one only one cube one square now what we have to do just if you are taking in the case of cube or 3d figure what will you you are adding the same type of plane six times six faces you are creating how we will represent 3 cube 27 and innermost will be again 1 cube that is 1 what we found the relation here 3 cube and 1 cube it is differ by 2 here also it is differ by 2 the number of cube it is n to the power q then innermost must be n minus 2 to the power q why because all surrounding one one layer this side one layer this side this is out this is out then n minus 2 to the power q then internal part no face painted it will be always n minus 2 to the power q there is blind rule no changes no counting issue whatever n to the power q is there you just subtract by 2 n to the power q internal part exactly one face painted which one will be only one face painted which are on the surface like here you can represent this uh, this a square this type of how many faces will be there six faces this again n minus 2 whole square now you understood the idea how you can deal with the perfect square number or perfect square figure or perfect cube number or perfect cube all are mathematics all are number pattern exactly two face painted this edge how many edge 12 into n minus 2 why this edge this side corner this side corner if it is n in the case of n also two corner only will be there you can't say if it is a 6 by 6 cube the number of corner will be not 8 number of corner will be always 8 then always for edge two will be out both side corner corner cube will be out then whatever n is there you make subtraction n minus 2 what you got the idea here all are dealing with n minus 2 n minus 2 n minus 2 what is difference only if one face painted you have to consider the six face if two face painted you have to consider the edge or if three faces painted again it is fixed eight number corner then this is your basic understanding of cutting uh, painting and cutting of the